Hi guys, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Hootsuite today. Uh, it's a great tool and free to use for up to five profiles for you to be able to manage uh, your Facebook, your Twitter, uh, in fact you can see you'll manage nearly everything but we're just going to really talk about your Facebook pages for your business and your Twitter um, profile. So at the moment whenever I talk to people they basically say that social media they don't do it because it's for want of a better phrase a river of crap they see so much information and they can't actually get into anything that's useful to them or, or directly implies to them or their business so this is the beer emporium it's a bar that uh, me and my friends are about to open in bristol so we're going to use these as an example because it's uh, it's going to be easier for me to show you so currently with these are the people we're following and he's obviously their tweets today so there's a lot of things in there that, that you know probably a lot of good stuff but we just can't we haven't got time to read all this then obviously my own Facebook it's the same thing again there's a lot of people's information and for my business it's not um, it's not stuff that I'm, I'm really too interested in uh, unless they're talking about us uh, so the Facebook page itself we haven't actually opened yet and I won't be open for a couple more months so we're at a real fresh start for this so there's the Facebook page and again it's a lot of our own information it's hard to dig through. So what we're going to do is use this program called Hootsuite, Hootsuite.com, and this is a brilliant program for actually be able to filter down into just what you need to see for your business, or even for your personal profiles, um, and you can really use it for your own benefit. And there's so much it can do that was that's going to help your your company and how you're perceived as a company to everybody else. So first off, you're just going to sign up. It's going to give you the plans on the sign up. The free, like say here, is it's five profiles. So that's you know your Facebook profile, your personal one will be one if you use it. Uh, your Facebook page will be two. Any Twitter will be three. LinkedIn four. You know, so any individual profile is used as one. So you're going to get five for free. Um, of course, if you want to go for seven ninety nine a month or nine dollars ninety nine a month, you actually get unlimited profiles and you can start adding. Uh, all sorts of funky stuff. All the data guys will love this kind of Google Analytics and Facebook insights. And but for for most parts of people I'm talking to today, um, you can just go for the free plan and start using it from there. And all you're going to do is quickly fill out the form and you'll be in. So I've already done that. So I'm just going to log in. I've got a couple of Hootsuite profiles because I use it for all sorts. Obviously, Drink with Paul was a charity event that I did. So it is the beer emporium that I'm interested in. So I'm simply going to log in. Oh, if I actually logged in properly, this is another beauty of um, Hootsuite. You're not going to have to log into all those profiles and remember all those passwords and everything all the time. And you come, uh, you'll get a tutorial tour for the fir for the first time you log in. But this is my blank Hootsuite. So from my blank Hootsuite. Uh, screen I'm going to start adding profiles so all I do is click on the owl in the top corner which brings up the profiles that are currently connected which obviously is none I'm going to first connect my uh, Twitter so it knows I'm logged in so I've just got to enter the password to authorize it and as soon as that's done you'll see Bristol Beer is added which is our obviously our Twitter username the Facebook I'm gonna have to connect and use um, my profile to connect first so that's Paul Nicholson up there and then it's the beer emporium profile you can see I've got a few and that instantly adds uh, all those three profiles that I'm interested in today I would like to say before you know you've got your Google Plus, your LinkedIn, Foursquare, even your WordPress press blog you can link to, MySpace if anybody still does that. You know, so there's plenty of uh, different profiles you can add, but for today I'm just really interested in um, the Twitter and Facebook. So now we're connected, we can go to uh, the streams, which is a little home icon, and it's gonna have automatically created some columns that it thinks are useful for us for firstly Twitter because that's what we added first my own personal uh, Facebook so you can see all the other people's 
statuses, my own wall, uh, some photos. There's different columns you can add. And then this is the actual Beer Emporium Facebook page. So let's show him um, all our wall posts that we've posted, any events that you're putting up, and some private messages. You can actually um, reply to private messages direct from here now. Um, so Facebook you might not use so much, but it's really good for once you fire a, a status, you can actually fire it to all three one time, um, and you can monitor your own wall post as to if anybody's commented. So I'm not uh, going to go too much into what you can do on Facebook, and in fact, I'm not even interested on my business Hootsuite about my profile, my personal profile. So all I'm interested in is the Facebook page, being able to post to it, being able to monitor it without actually logging into Facebook um, and Twitter. So with the Twitter, this is where we're really going to be able to tunnel into all that information that's on Twitter, all those people's tweets, everybody, you know. And the beauty of Twitter is you don't even have to be following them to be able to see other people's tweets. So you can really do some searches to, to be able to uh, see so much more information than what you currently can by just following people. So when I come to what's automatically been set up for me, there's my home feed, which is pretty much exactly the same as everybody I've followed. So we've already said that's just full of good information, but simply too much information really, and we're not gonna look at it. So I'm just gonna delete that stream for now. Mentions, obviously anybody who's mentioned uh, the Beer Emporium or Bristol Beer. So we're gonna be very keen to see who's mentioned us, what they've said, uh, and certainly reply to them. So for instance, uh, this is this is James who's working with us closely uh, for our EPOS system, really nice guy and he's looking forward to opening because like all of us he likes a beer so all we'd simply have to do is uh, can't wait to open have some fun, you might even hashtag Bristol beer on it or whatever the tweet is that you want to do, uh, the message you want to send, and you can simply send it straight back to him. So you've quite, you know, we've replied straight away to mentions, and it might come to your phone, or it might do um, you, whatever you want to do with mentions. You can you can have your own uh, procedure for direct messages. You know, on Twitter, they're going to probably come through as an email anyway. But I think we all know it's kind of spammy direct messages. But there's certainly a few that we'd like to get. Sent tweets. Uh, I think we pretty much know what tweets we've sent. So I'm not really too interested in sent tweets either. So we can delete those down. So at the moment, all we've got is mentions. So right now, if anybody mentions um, Bristol Beer, good or bad, we can instantly reply to them. You know, hopefully we're going to have people saying, uh, I had a great uh, night out at Bristol Beer. Then we can reply, glad you enjoyed it. Uh, or if they, more importantly, say they didn't, we can reply and um, and straight away give some sort of customer service, hopefully uh, get them back uh, and not, not if they've had a bad experience. So so now we're, we're probably at the point where this is all you're currently interested in, your Facebook page, what's happening on there, and it was mentioned you on Twitter. That's probably as much as you probably do at the minute. Um, because everything else is quite painful. So how are we going to get into some better information? Um, what you can do is if you know how to set up lists on Twitter, or you can even create a new list. So if you go in and, uh, so that was add stream on the top there, and then we've already got some lists set up, uh, but you can also create a new list. So for instance, we've got uh, a list for Bristol Nightlife. Now what this is, is a public list of pretty much all the other bars uh, and pubs that we've come across that are tweeting so we're going to keep an eye on all the pubs around us because we want to be a part of a basically a pub crawl or a, a you know a nightlife scene so we're going to keep an eye on what everybody else is doing and we might retweet we might reply something you know so brew dogs put in yeah another happy sunday brought to you you know we might retweet that uh, for one reason or another, you know, we want to be able to great, create good connections with all the other bars and restaurants around us. So straight away, we've got a list 
of bars and as we see more bars coming up we'll add them to that list so uh, flying dog you know not quite sure it is but just for a quick demonstration you click add to list and there you see Bristol nightlife and you just save it so the flying dog brewery now whenever they tweet it will come up in that list so that's a good way of um, adding uh, and filtering down to, to people's tweets around you in your area and obviously good to keep an eye on the competition which is certainly what I would think most people want to do um, another good aspect to do here is um, I, I'll just show you how to quickly um, create a list so we're going to do a Bristol beer create a list we're just going to call it friends so this might be uh, customers or people we know or people we specifically want to keep a, um, a look on their uh, their tweets so uh, for instance obviously James has shown interest in the bar so if we want to quickly add him to that friends list we can and there's all James's tweets that are recent so you know we can add obviously Rodney 21 uh, this guy's an idiot it's me so we might add him as well and he's a prolific tweeter so it might just take over that stream as it did so you can see that it's easy enough to um, look at the uh, the tweets and the um, uh, of specific people then you can actually go across and look it is the nightlife list right here so if we so we've just added flying dog brewery you know they're following 9,000 people I've got 46,000 people following them so you can see straight away if you're looking at your competition Brewdog Bristol you know we can see how popular 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 they are um, and the same for any list so that's a real good way of, of filtering down and we've got a few more lists already there set up to go that are um, uh, you know the breweries we might be connecting to breweries shows that's people um, tweeting about shows food bars obviously pretty self-explanatory so that's a really good way of filtering down to specific lists of people and keeping an eye on what they're doing and you know you don't have to see everything but it's just a great way to quickly glance at um, people's tweets uh, quickly as I'm running out of time but there's another great uh, feature that you can actually put is actually search words for people who have searched for uh, certain things in Twitter um, so it, depending on what you want to see you know you might want to look for people who've tweeted Bristol beer or Twisted Beer Emporium you know actually mentioning us but without using our uh, Twitter handler or hashtag um, and there's other things like uh, we're opposite the old Vic theatre in Bristol so what we might do is is keep an eye on anybody who's tweeting about Bristol Old Vic and add that as a stream you know so um, you can now see that anybody who's tweeted about Bristol Old Vic just booked my ticket for Amy Mason's The Islanders and absolute ablutions double bill at Bristol Old Vic looks tasty so if we wanted to we could we could actually reply to to that tweet or even retweet it uh, and just say you know, if you fancy popping in for a drink or you know coming for a meal before the show or anything like that whatever we decide is our procedures uh, to contacting people about the Olvic just say we've got some deals that can get you some tickets you see a lot of tweets uh, from what I've looked before of people going for auditions in the Olvic so you might say hey do you want to pop in before for a bit of Dutch courage or pop in afterwards to celebrate uh, that'd be great to see you so, that, so you can see by the search you can really add streams um, that that can be really specific to your company or in your area and um, can be really useful tools to just see what's going on so that's a, it's a really quick overview on what Hilt Suite can do in it but it really can be a massive beneficial uh, tool for you and your company to filter into what you need to see uh, you can add pictures links it's you know it's just a normal status but you can see if you want you simply write a status and it sends it to all of them one time 
So it could take a lot of the pain away from social media and, as I say, sort of delving into that river of uh, crap. So let me know if there's anything that, that, that you, more you need or you find that interesting. Give me some feedback on, on what you thought and if there's anything else you want me to speak to you about, I can certainly give you a hand.